Virginia, Virginia. Is everybody here? Standing here. Okay. Good afternoon, I guess. Now, one minute. Afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is a very important enrollment ceremony for us. It follows a very, very impressive hearing on Tuesday where the law enforcement officers told the story of what they saw on January 6th. I never thought I would ever see a personal presentation exceed the video that we saw in terms of describing what happened that day. So impressive was it that the next day, after months of waiting, the Senate was allowed to proceed to pass a supplemental bill to strengthen the Capitol Police Force and honor those who risk their lives to strengthen the Capitol. It doesn't do everything we wanted, but it is a giant step forward. And under leadership of Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro Appropriations Committee, no uh, Tim Ryan, Tim Ryan, the vice chair, the chair of the committee, the, the uh, subcommittee of jurisdiction, Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren, chair of the committee of jurisdiction authorization, House of House Administration Committee, uh, they, the Senate finally took up the bill. We had a better bill months ago. This is a bill a few months late, later and lots of money short. But again, again, it is important for us to go forward, find ways to supplement what is missing from this bill in full recognition of what happened that day and what we need to do to ensure that it doesn't happen again to the extent that we can do so through the legislative process. I salute the relentless leadership of again, Chair Zoe Lofgren, House and then Rosa DeLauro, the Appropriations Committee, doing all of this while doing all of the appropriations bills. Rosa, congratulations. Uh, and at the same time, making sure that the job tax credit gets passed. Um, Tim Ryan, the subcommittee chair, he was relentless. He did quite a good job on this. Of course, uh, uh, none of this is possible with our Majority Leader Steny Hoyer. And if I may just say, he wears two hats here now as the Majority Leader, making sure that this happens on the floor of the House and, and, and helping to make the substance as strong as it is, but also as a Marylander. So you see before you, Steny Hoyer, uh, Mr. Ruppersberger, Mr. Trone, Mr. Raskin, Mr. Sarbanes, uh, as, re as representatives of the great state of Maryland. And you see Congresswoman Wexton from Virginia, uh, a, another state whose law enforcement officers help save the day, save our democracy, save our capital, save our lives on that day. So in thanking them, we want to thank the law enforcement officers from their region uh, who helped so much, they and others. So with that, uh, again, uh, it is, uh, um, it's just chilling that we are in this situation that we have to address that unprecedented assault on our country. Well, not unprecedented, but it was the War of 1812 and the, 19, the 1814 assault on the Capitol, nothing of that magnitude since then, except on January 6th. So again, uh, with commitment to our oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, with admiration and respect and gratitude to law enforcement officers from all over who helped save the day, hold the line, we will now sign the legislation that brings resources to strengthen the Capitol support our Capitol Police and others who were so helpful. No, you're not blocking 